Welcome to a short video roundup of the best TVs over £1,600 that we reviewed this year. You can read the actual article via the link in the description or by clicking the info button at the top right of the screen. It's been a big year of changes in 2016 for TVs with new standards that include increased resolutions and wider colour gamuts and higher dynamic ranges. And all the TVs on this list are flagship models that are superb in their own right, starting with the Samsung UE55 KS9000. Now this is Samsung's flagship edge-lit LED TV for 2016 and it retails for £1,699. It uses a curved screen and what Samsung call their 360 degree design which means you can see the TV from any angle and it's supposed to look attractive. It also uses Samsung's One Connect box which includes four HDMI 2.0a inputs. It comes with Samsung's new smart controller which is also a universal remote and it includes the new Smart Hub Smart TV platform. In terms of gaming, this is an excellent TV for gamers. The input lag on this TV is only 21 milliseconds, which is the lowest we've measured all year. And in terms of its performance, again, an excellent TV with a really great standard dynamic range performance and an equally good high dynamic range performance within the limitations of the fact, obviously, that it's edge lit. Uh, and overall, we found it to be a superb TV, well designed, well made, attractive, good sound quality, excellent features and great performance. And we awarded it a highly recommended badge. The next TV on our list is the Panasonic TX65 DX902B. This is their flagship LED LCD TV for 2016 and it retails for £2,499. That's a pretty good deal when you consider you're getting a 65 inch screen size here. It also uses 512 local dimming zones behind the flat panel to give you improved blacks and reduced haloing. In terms of its features, it's THX certified, it's also Ultra HD Premium certified by the UHD Alliance, and it supports 4K, HDR, wide color gamut, and 10-bit video. It comes with a nicely designed remote control um, that's very effective to use. It also has a very effective and simplified menu system, and it has the Firefox Smart T platform, which again is quite simple, but quite intuitive to use, and we found to be very effective. In terms of its input lag, it delivers about 35 milliseconds, which is good enough for most gamers, I suspect. And in terms of connections at the rear, you'll find four HDMI 2.0a inputs, along with a number of other legacy connections. Its uh, performance out of the box was very good, and after calibration, this is quite simply the most accurate TV that we reviewed this year, particularly in terms of its color performance, but also in terms of its grayscale. Its performance with standard dynamic range content was superb, and it was one of the best TVs we saw all year in terms of HDR performance as well. Really absolutely stellar. This is a fantastic TV, uh, and the current price is a real bargain too. When we reviewed it, we gave it a highly recommended badge. Moving up the price range, we come to Samsung's flagship LED LCD TV for this year, the UE65 KS9500. This retails for £3,299, but for that you get pretty much everything you can imagine in a modern TV. Uh, it uses a curved panel with a full array backlight behind it for local dimming. It has a 4K panel, it supports HDR, supports wide colour gamut, uh, it supports 10-bit video. It also is Ultra HD Premium certified by the UHD Alliance. Uh, in terms of the design, it uses Samsung's 360 degree design, so you can look at it from any angle if you want to. Uh, it's very attractive. It uses uh, the One Connect box, which includes four HDMI 2.0a inputs, and it includes Samsung's new smart controller, which is a universal remote. It also has Samsung's new smart hub, smart TV platform as well, which we found to be very effective. And as with all Samsung's TVs this year, it has an incredibly low input lag of just 21 milliseconds, making it ideal for gamers. In terms of its performance out of the box, it was a pretty accurate TV out of the box, very accurate after calibration, and it was a great performer, absolutely superb, with both standard dynamic range and HDR content as well. In fact, we probably go as far as to say that in terms of HDR performance, this was the best performing TV this year that we saw with high dynamic range content. Overall, it's a fantastic TV. It's got great features, well built, beautiful design. It sounds really good. It has a fantastic picture, delivers a really great performance all round. And when we, we reviewed it, we awarded it a highly recommended badge. The next TV on our list is Sony's KD75 XD9405 which retails for £3,999. Now that's a pretty impressive price when you can see we're talking about a 75 inch screen size here. And this is a really good TV. It's basically an extension of last year's model, but they've got rid of the big speakers on either side of the screen. So you've got a much uh, more slimmer, more attractive looking TV that's easy to fit into your house, but you still get that really big screen size. It supports uh, 4K, it supports HDR, it supports wider color gamut, and it delivered the goods in terms of its design. So very attractive looking TV. We really like Sony styling this year. 
In terms of its other features, well, it has Android TV, of course, and it includes Sony's latest version of their remote control, which has got a kind of a flat rubberized filter, which we're not massive fans of, but at least it does actually work. And overall, the Android TV smart platform was a lot more robust than in previous years. In terms of its connections, it has all the connections you could need at the back, including four HDMI inputs and all the legacy connections you expect to see. In terms of its uh, gaming mode, it was uh, relatively low, but it could have been lower. It's not the lowest TV we've measured this year, but in terms of its performance, it was superb. It had a really good accuracy out of the box, very, very accurate after calibration, and it was great with both SDR and HDR content. Not the brightest TV we've measured this year. There are brighter TVs you can get. When you consider the size of the screen here and the accuracy in terms of both SDR and HDR content, it's a really great performer. It also sounds really good, even though they've lost the big wide speakers on either side. You still get good sound quality. You've got a low input lag. You've got attractive design. You've got great performance, good color accuracy, and a really solid, strong TV. And of course, you get a massive screen size. So when we we reviewed the TV, it was an easy winner of a highly recommended badge. The last TV on our list is the most expensive relative to its screen size, and that's the Sony KD65ZD9, which is £3,999 for a 65 inch screen. Now, this is the most recently released TV on our list, and it includes Sony's new Backlight Master Drive, which basically means it has 646 local dimming zones and can reach a peak brightness of 1,800 nits, which is the highest of any TV that we've measured this year. This TV really has been designed with HDR in mind. In terms of its features, it has everything you expect from modern TV, of course, 4K panel, support for HDR, wide color gamut, and 10-bit video. And in terms of its styling, it looks very similar to the other TVs in Sony's range this year, particularly the um, XD94. So it has the angled stand, has a relatively slim panel with some gold trimmer on the outer edge. It's a very attractive TV with really stylish looking design. In terms of its connections, at the rear, inside these removable panels, you'll find four HDMI inputs, along with all the usual legacy connections you expect to see on a modern TV. And it includes Android TV, of course, uh, with a more robust platform than perhaps in previous years. And it includes Sony's new remote control. Uh, in terms of its input lag, it's a little bit on the higher side, 42 milliseconds, which is probably a bit high for some gamers, but should be low enough for most people. But in terms of its picture performance, it's absolutely stunning. Out of the box, it was very accurate, after calibration, supremely accurate, and it delivered the goods both in terms of standard dynamic range content and also high dynamic range content. It could deliver really deep blacks, incredible blacks for an LCD TV. Uh, the local dimming was superb. There was no real haloing or banding, which we haven't seen on any other TV this year. Uh, and in terms of SDR, it looks superb, but really in terms of HDR, what an impression it made. A superb looking TV with, with fantastic wide color gamut, an incredible peak bright highlights, uh, and a really impressive performance. Uh, in terms of its sound quality, it also sounded really good. So when you add up the design and the features and the performance, the price doesn't actually seem so high after all. And certainly when we reviewed it, we were more than happy to reward it, a highly recommended badge. And that's it. Those are the five flagship TVs we've seen this year that we think really deliver in terms of performance. And um, thanks for watching.